Minnesota Department of Public Safety is taking a closer look at how it issues state identification cards. This woman, Olga Franco, was charged with causing a deadly school bus crash in Cottonwood back in February. At first, Franco told investigators her name was Alianis Morales, but it turned out she received two state ID cards using someone else's birth certificate. Bob McNaney has more on how those IDs are handed out. At first glance, Worthington is like many Minnesota towns. A ball game on the edge of town, a nice lake, even the old guy with the seed corn cap along Main Street. Let me sort through this a little bit here. But away from the sunshine and small town sidewalks, Worthington Police Sergeant Kevin Flynn fills a table with fraudulent state identification cards. Right there, the shocking proof that the state of Minnesota has lost control of the very identification cards it issues. Whoever this is, and you frankly don't know who that is. Not a clue. Goes in with this birth certificate from Puerto Rico. That's Social Security that's card. That's Social Security card and winds up with a state ID. Correct. But that man on that ID is not the man who belongs to these documents. Correct. State identification cards are often used by people who don't have a driver's license. They use the ID as proof of who they are in order to get a job. It was surprising. What surprised Worthington Mayor Alan Oberlo is what our Five Eyewitness News investigation uncovered. We analyzed state ID records and discovered that Worthington is home to at least 36 improbable identification cases, cases where two people share the same exact name, the same exact date of birth. We uncovered two Victor Abelendas, two Alexander Ortiz, two Rosa Vargases, and the list goes on. In fact, statistical experts say this is a near mathematical impossibility. I know a lot of people in this community, and I, I can't recognize any of those names right off the bat. Not a single one? Not a one. Uh -huh. What does that tell you? There's a problem. That's because they apparently don't live in Worthington, a town with a growing Hispanic population drawn to jobs here at the Swift Pork Producing Plant. Police say they have used someone else's birth certificate to fraudulently obtain a state ID, just as Olga Franco did before she was in that crash which killed four children. So you don't know Wilson Gonzalez? No. And you lived here for four years? No. And, uh, and you've no. never heard of him? No. As hard as we looked, we could not find a single person at the addresses they listed on their state identification card. Does it concern the state of Minnesota that we found these dozens of cases where multiple people have the same name, same date of birth, all live in Worthington. Does it seem troubling to you or mathematically improbable? Um, I, I, again, you know, we've spoken that our data doesn't exactly match up with yours, so would we want to look into it? Absolutely. For the record, our data came from them, the state of Minnesota. The Worthington Police Chief ran the IDs for us and confirms that in every case but one, there are two different people pictured on each state ID for every one name. I know that the state knows it because we've told them that it, that it, that it exists. The state denies they've ever been told by police about this problem. We asked the Department of Public Safety if it ever checked state IDs, as we did. We audit them. I'd have to see how frequently, and I can double-check that and get back to you. But you do audit them? Yes. And this has never popped up as a problem? I'll have to double-check this one. If it has popped up as a problem, do you assume you would, I mean, what could be done about it? I'll have to check into that.